my first time here Relax. Relax. Gotta keep my mind clear Play my feet, I'm here to stay I dig my heels into the fucking ground Take a breath like it's my last It's not my first time here Feel the creases in my palms It's not my first fucking time here Tell him I can't do it, but I'm lying I tell him I can't do it, but I'm just not fucking trying Nobody told me that the end was the end Tell that to yourself and tell it to a friend And if that friend is a fucking friend It'll slap you in the face and tell you to get your fucking mind straight I'm fucking made for this What's up guys, I was supposed to um, do a vlog all day today, but we got so busy man and uh, things have changed a lot from my last video when you saw that I was uh, camping out in a tent I've got back on my feet, so thank you for the uh, for the, the uh, support and a special shout out to the, uh, to the guy at Ayahuasca Magic um, for your beautiful messages and for posting my video on your Facebook group man this means a lot and I'm so happy to have your support you're a beautiful and positive human being and I really just feel your energy so I'm very very grateful for that so what's up everyone if you've seen my obviously follow me on my Instagram you would have seen this cafe but it's been a, a long process you know and uh, filming this journey has just been so awesome I went back to watch some of my old YouTube videos and I inspired myself watching them and not to sound big-headed or egotistical but if you can inspire yourself you're going in the right direction, you know. I'm meeting great people, I'm learning new things here. And one thing, I'm kind of like letting go of like myself, if that makes sense. I'm trying to put others before myself. Like I'm out every single night feeding, feeding the straight dogs. And um, like I've got here, I have two kilograms of dog food and some rice for them. And also at Christmas time, I want to um, try and buy the children who are living on the street uh, food. Uh, just not, not food sorry uh, toys I want to buy them toys for Christmas because they don't have anything and if I can buy them some awesome toys it's doing something good you know someone said about setting up a donation account or something but you know what if I can do it off my own back then so be it you know I'm not gonna be setting up a charity um, because if I can do this myself I will I don't need that much you know um, just enough to, to survive you know and what do you need to survive I've got a roof over my head now, I'm not living in a tent. Um, but you guys have seen my land, and uh, that's one of the something, uh, the future, you know. God, it's been a long day and I'm talking shit. But I'm going to show you guys my, the cafe tomorrow um, in more detail. But I'll give you a quick, like, of this guy. Really cool, right? Yeah, so we've done a lot of changes in this cafe, it's a lot more bigger. and. Uh, to make shit even more cool, look at the light in his toilet. It's like it's like a disco. It's like a party, you know. You can take a shit, and uh, you can you you can party at the same time, you know. What, what do you think, guys? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's good, Mr. Wolf and Miena? And in my last video, I was talking about how my camera's broken. It's not. It's working again. I can see my face. So I don't know what to do with this vlog, if to finish it or carry on vlogging but I might take you guys on a little adventure of uh, me feeding the dogs later so I'll catch you guys in a bit, love and light and all that other cheesy spiritual stuff Mwah. Every situation when you can because I tell you what every single day here is very unpredictable like you guys saw when I was living a little bit rough I had about five souls in my pocket now it's not that I don't have that problem anymore and um, I'm doing good I'm a bit more stable financially 
um, and now I'm gonna tuck into a vegetarian pizza, you know? But I'm making the most of today because tomorrow I might have nothing again. But in Peru, if you want, we're improving life in general, business, whatever it is you're trying to do, you have to go through and you have to be willing to have nothing. Because when you're willing to lose everything, you will then gain everything. And I've got a few ideas in the pipeline what I'm working on. Um, and I'll take you guys along for the journey. And uh, tomorrow I'll give you a full tour of the new cafe. But as we closed one cafe and we're getting the new one open, we had a few issues. There were issues we were out of our hands, but then I suffered really bad. But I also got humbled along the way. And life is about becoming humbled. In Peru, everyone wants to become be humbled by taking ayahuasca. I was humbled by life. Having nothing, surviving day to day on scraps, going days without having any food, sleeping wherever I could. But I was sleeping on the floor in the old cafe. I was sleeping in a tent on the land, it wasn't a big deal. And that's called roughing it, it isn't really an issue, especially over here. But you've got to be willing to go through um, the kind of hard stuff. Um, I shower him with a bucket of water, and now I have a full working shower. I've been able to take a small apartment, nothing in it. I'm sleeping on the floor, but I've got a roof over my head. And you've got to be thankful for everything in your life, you know? Especially if you want to have a life which is better, you have to be prepared to sacrifice everything, to lose everything. And that's what I'm here to do, to lose everything, to gain everything. You know, it's a process of becoming a stronger version of yourself. You can't become a stronger version without going through difficult um, situations. So I welcome the difficult situations. Now I welcome your situation where I'm in a good place where I can tuck into a big pizza. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Yo, what's up everyone? I'm exhausted, but I made a promise. Um, it's like gone midnight in Pacapa, in Peru, in South America. Um, and my promise was I'm going to feed the street dogs every single night um, my promise was it doesn't matter what situation I'm in because I'm not important like it doesn't matter about if I'm tired or even if I have no money because I'll go without food because I made a promise and that's what I'm going to do thankfully I'm not going without food because I've eaten today as you saw my pizza and I was able to um, get a good donation today from customers so I've got two kilos of dog food and I've also got a bag of rice to feed the awesome, beautiful street dogs. Um, there's one over here which is pretty fucked up. Um, he's not very smart, he's like laying in the middle of the road and he's got like a really gammy leg. A really gammy leg so I'm going to go over and feed him. I really want to try and get him out of the road. So let's, uh, let's see what I can do. Come, Ben. And ben means come, apparently. So it's coming over. Come on, over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna try set this camera up so we can try and get a little guy. I'm sure you guys can hear me. Okay. Let's get him to come over. Let's get some fucking biscuits. There you go. Okay, he's a bit shy this one, I um, don't know if you can see on the camera but his back leg is, uh, is pretty fucked up, bless him. And two days ago he wouldn't even come over to me um, and now he is, so I'm happy with that. Bless him. You're on camera man. Like, this is, um, this is my promise. My promise to, to the animals here that I'm gonna go and feed the street dogs every night. Um, rain or shine, because it is a rainy season coming up and for me it doesn't matter. Even if there's a storm, I will go and find them wherever they're hiding. Because uh, for me, this is, this is more important than me. And uh, everyone comes here to um, take ayahuasca. Like everyone comes here to um, fix themselves as such, but they kind of really ignore what's going on around them. You know, we are in a third world country and it's easy just to be for yourself. Everyone does, they talk about how good their shaman is or 
how magical her experience was and all the dressing their hemp fucking t-shirts. Hola, como estas? Gracias. Yeah, dressing their hemp fucking clothing and make out their like spiritual fucking people. Um, but in another turn of blind eye, they don't come and see what's going on in the real world. Where is everyone? You know, I tell people every night I'll come and do this. Has anyone come with me? No, they haven't. You know, but why do I care? Because it's me. I'm doing it. It's my mission, you know, to do this. Hey. And we're gonna come and see what this guy wants. You know. What's up? Just my solita. Huh? Just my solita. you feeding the dog? No, no Spaniel. I think this guy is pissed because I'm feeding the dog. See what I mean? Humanity. Alright, uh, come back in a second. So I think that guy was um, focused, was pissed because I was feeding a dog and not feeding him. And the guy comes over thinking of alcohol. He needs to fucking recognise that I'm here to look after animals that can't look after themselves. He wants to complain. I think he was making out he was complaining that I don't give him any money to feed himself. It's a fucking human. Stand on your own fucking two feet and feed yourself. Don't come over to me when you're drinking alcohol. Stinking of alcohol. This is what I don't like here. No one wants to help themselves. It's like every single person wants them, you to feel sorry for them. And it's like you don't do anything. You want to sit there with your hand out. You know, I don't like people who get drunk. I don't like alcohol. And if some man's going to come over to me, I was calm. It was cool. It's a part of the lesson. Part of the lesson. But you know what, it's horrible that I'm feeding the dog which has, one of its legs is mutated. It's gone midnight. You know, I'm out the streets on my fucking own. And this piece of shit wants to come over to me and have a go at me because he's too binary to sort himself out and he wants to sit there with alcohol. I'm stinking of alcohol. But good thing is the dog's got his food. I'm happy with that. Um, the situation, you know, it's not good to um, reduce yourself to people like that. You know, it's not really, really not good. You don't want to, um, you don't want to cause violence, to especially someone who's drunk, because they're not really themselves, I suppose. So I was able to um, walk away from that situation. But I don't care, man. I'm carrying on. I've still got loads of food left, and I take whoever wants to throw themselves at me. I'm in a place, a country, which is third world, really late at night, going down really dark alleys, trying to find dogs who are fucked up. I really don't care if anyone causes any problems to me. Because I really just don't give a fuck. <laughs> Not in a, you know, in a way like that. It's just like, they need fucking food. And I'm going to come and feed them. You know, I really don't care if anyone wants to cause me any problems. It really doesn't bother me. Because I'm here for these guys. Look at them. Street dogs, skinny, bony. A lot of them have diseases. You know, rib cages hanging out. You know, I'm here for these guys. I'm not here for a drunk man. I'm not here to um, make someone's life easier who isn't willing to do something. One of my other plans is I want to help the street kids as well. Christmas time, I want to try and save some money and help the kids on the street. Um, buy them a few gifts. But, you know, I'm going to get back to um, feeding, these, feeding these beautiful little animals. Um, yeah, I'll carry on vlogging some more, guys. So I'll catch you in a second. Come on. You want? You want? You want? You want? <laughs> They're all coming now, yeah? And <laughs> they're going to be happy. Glaciers, glaciers. Come on, guys. You want some? Come on. Come on. Perfect Happy. You take, you take, it's okay. Nice. 
and crazy how people change here as well there's one guy he just helped me call some more dogs over and um, but then the heartbreaking thing is i run out of food you know it's like i feed the ones i can then i find another group of them and i run out of fucking food you know so it's like it's not going to be enough but at least it's something um the, the, the dogs like they're good at finding food like don't get me wrong you know but it's the fact that like, people kick them they got no there's no love like when i first come here it was like you know this whole like you come to peru ayahuasca find the medicine but for me it's bullshit at the moment because you gotta have direct experience like if i'm submerging myself in this environment remember everyone that I left my country, like I, like I walked out of my job, I sold my stuff and I, I moved to this country. I moved to Pacalpa, so therefore it is my home. I love it here. Like even though, yeah, that one guy may have peed me off a little bit, you know, but I don't have any issues here. I ain't got any problems. Everyone here is cool. You know, like, um, I love the environment I'm in, you know, I'm up, up like half 12 and I've got to be up to get the cafe open tomorrow but the fact is I'm not up because I'm partying I'm getting fucking drunk I'm up because I'm feeding animals you know I'm trying to give them some love and make them feel like they mean something you know and I've got to stop saying you know <laughs> um, so yeah my little rant earlier was just because I was a bit fired fired up you know and I get again you know <laughs> stop saying that that saying but someone's gonna come over to me and get into my face I have to bite my tongue and remain calm which isn't always easy to do when there's a language barrier I've got no idea what this guy was saying to me but I could just make out by body language and that's one thing here is you've got to read a lot of body language but I'm happy because every single day here is unpredictable every single day you have no idea what, it, what it's gonna bring for you you know I'm taking control of that situation right now my situation is good I'm happy I'm healthy I'm in a good environment uh, you know, I'm again, you know, I'm in a great environment. I'm in I'm in Peru. I'm in Latin America, South America Taking control Not answering to anyone. Well, we're trying to obviously run a business. So I am answering to somebody <laughs> But it's not the same. I enjoy every single day. I'm happy when I wake up. I'm thankful for everything I have I have less but in a way I have more I have everything I need um, and every day is just a different experience do I need the ayahuasca to um, show me this experience? Well, at the moment, I don't really think I do. But I will be planning to drink soon. Um, but I needed to humble myself from experience, from life, from living. I needed to humble myself. I'm not, like, don't get me wrong, like I don't want to come across as being negative Nancy or something, but I do see some shit here. Like people coming over and it is just like talking shit. You know, it, it's just more about themselves and the way how they present themselves. It's like, well, I'm a vegan and I dress like this. I don't use any products for against animals. It's like, yeah, it's, it's the easy part. But where are you? Where are you out? Are you feeding them animals? No, you'd rather spend your 40 souls and buying yourself your vegan friendly macchino or your, your latte with coconut milk because you don't want any animal products in your coffee, but you're not willing to go and feed the animals. You're not willing to get down and dirty, jump down in the sewers. I sat with a dog as it died, okay? I sat with it as it died. No one else was coming over to it. The guy was dying, well, the girl was dying. She was dying, she was in pain, screaming in agony. Everyone was walking past. No one rushed out to help me. I go back to the cafe to grab some water and grab some food. Did anybody else come out? No one gave a fuck, come on. They don't want to see a dying dog. They turn a blind eye to it. So I went out there, I sat with her until as long as I could, the next day she'd passed away. Um, it's hard out here, it's not easy. And you know, I'm desensitized, desensitizing myself, but at the same time I'm doing what I can and message to maybe everyone, um, wherever you are in life, just do what you can. If you get paid on a Friday, you've got a spare of extra, uh, extra money, do something with it. You know, if you can donate it to somebody directly, not to organizations, not to these bullcrap charities. If you know there's someone who's really struggling, you know there's a single mother who struggles every single week of her shopping, go give it to her. Um, obviously it's hard where I come from because the homeless people aren't particularly homeless. They're trying, they're doing too much. 
to go to an animal um, shelter, um, offer your time to an animal shelter if you can. Because it's possible, you can do it. Like, I'm working six days a week and every single night I'm out doing this. Rain or shine, like I said, I don't care. If I'm tired, I'm tired. Make sacrifices, make it work. Do something good. Um, do something good. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, end this vlog. And uh, thank you for everyone who's been supporting me on this journey so far. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna try and do be a bit more stricter on my vlogs at the sketch. Sometimes I'm not in the mood, you know? Sometimes I'm just really, um, how do I explain it? Like, I'm coming myself, so I don't really wanna be in front of a camera all day. Um, but I do at the same time, so I wanna make content, but it's just tough. It is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna vlog out. Like, subscribe, comment, um, and until next time, peace and love, everyone. Peace out.